Oh, and it's learned that Willow is a farmer. I mean, what gave it away? Was it the sheep? The chickens? Was it the fact that we go to the market and sell wool and eggs? I don't know, you tell me. Sims for rags to riches. How freaking cute is our little home? Our little farm starting to become. I would say very cute. Unfortunately, guys, uh, where's it at? We've missed the sunrise. The sun is pretty much at a noon position right now, which is obviously very sad because I love watching the sunrise with you guys. But our farm is slowly starting to get there. I think today I would like to add moving animals. That is the plan for the day. So I am pretty hyped about that. Also, in the last episode, we kind of realized that poor Yona, Yona Bear has nowhere to live. So I think we're gonna... Why are you feeling embarrassed? Linger in embarrassment from being embarrassed. That just feels like self-torture for no reason, but okay. Uh, so yeah, Yona Bear has nowhere to live. We're thinking of asking him if he wants to move in with us. We're probably gonna have to try and at least afford some money for a sofa so he's got somewhere to stay because I don't think we're quite on the level of sharing beds yet. We might have done some casual flirtations but that's as far as things have gone. We did do a few more additions to the house. We've added like a few little bits in an, um, a kitchen. We also have a fireplace now and also we have a new... Okay I was about to say we've got a new cute furry, furry little friend. We added as a stray and then he's drinking out the toilet. Good job, Doggo. The Doggo is currently called Pixel, but you guys were suggesting that we should rename him. I've actually found such a cute name for him because we've got Yona, Yona Bear, because Yona means bear in Native American. We've got Willow Bear because she is the OG bear. And then I was looking for other names for other words for the word bear that we could use. And I found out that the Viking word for bear is, I need to make sure I'm saying this right, don't I? Bjorn. Bjorn. And I know Bjorn. 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 I know that Bjorn is already a character in Sims 4. Um, he's Elsa's dad, I believe, but obviously he's not one of our characters, so I feel no issues doing this. So we're gonna go ahead and call Pixel Bjorn. Look, I even put the little umlaut thing over it. So that he is also a bear and we can all be bears together. And also, can you please not drink from the toilet? Because that's super gross. I kind of feel like I haven't got you a pet bowl yet, so I probably need to get on that. Uh, but we have $12, so you're gonna have to starve for a little bit. Oh, Yona is... We found something Yona's actually not good at. He's good at a lot of stuff. Apparently he's not great at playing the violin, so so good to know. And I think he just slept somewhere in on the floor last night in the house. But we're gonna say, like, look, you're in a pretty bad situation. You have nowhere to live. Please stop playing the violin. Like, please stop playing the violin. It's actually really hurting my ears. I would love to have somebody around the house just to kind of, like, help out. Like, because if one person is doing the farm stuff, the other person can be selling the produce and, like, Together we can try and get a little bit more cash, so don't worry, you wouldn't be like putting on me, like you'd actually be helping me out as much as um, I am helping you out. It will be a beautiful symbiotic relationship for those of you doing your GCSEs this week. Symbiotic relationship is two organisms I that live in harmony together. And we're gonna ask if he wants to move in. I think he's on board. This is awesome. And good luck to everybody who is doing their GCSEs this week and next. I know it's super, super scary and stressful at the time, but trust me, over the course of your life, you'll start to see that it's not such a big, huge deal. And just stay calm, stay focused. You've got this, okay? Kapow. Just like we've got three bears in our- <gasps> We are literally like the three bears um, nursery room. We've got daddy bear, mommy bear, and baby bear. We are the three bears. We need to find a Goldilocks now and eat her. Okay, so he, he is here, here in the house with us. He's actually a loner sim. And he loves the outdoors. I, it, despite the fact that he's a loner sim, like I don't feel like Willow gets on his nerves or bothers his like loneliness. So that's pretty good. So I'm gonna get him to go and just like start taking some curtains and stuff. I was hoping he might be able to evolve some of our plants, but you know, fine, whatever. You can go and do like your little gardeny stuff around here. I'm gonna go check out my little chicken lickens. Make sure things are all going okay in there. Also some of my non-moving pigs. <laughs> Hopefully today we can get some. Are they, is that a poop? What is that? What is that? What are you? Are you a rock? Are you a poop? I don't even know. Um, and probably just maybe do a little bit of fishing as well. You know, I might as well. Fish with a pair. And then we can also get some stuff on the go to sell as well because the whole idea of today is that we need to try and buy a sofa. Just somewhere for little um, Yon's, Yon, not Bjorn. Uh, somewhere for Yoni to sleep and a pet bowl as well for Bjorn. Oh, check out this. He's come on in to go and light the fire for us. Will it actually come out the chimney? Will I have like little smokes coming out? <gasps> How have I never noticed this before? Look at that. Little smokes coming out the chimney. That's so freaking cute. <gasps> Love it. Oh, this is cool. So I can start grafting these trees together. 
So what are you already? Are you a pear tree? You're a pear tree. So can I like graft an apple onto you and you can be an apple and pear tree? Well, apparently I can graft a strawberry onto you. I feel like this definitely goes against uh, the laws of nature, but okay. Oh, and we found some Easter eggs so we can put them up for sale. Look at these little Easter eggs. It's so freaking cute. People love a good fossil as well, so we'll stick them up for sale. <gasps> and oh my gosh, I'm like, we're gonna have to buy stuff. Yona brought 20,000 pounds. Feels a bit much. Um, It definitely feels a little bit much, but okay. <laughs> and I really wanted like a doggy kennel. I feel feel like um Bjorn is like a little bit more of an outdoorsy dog. Can I kind of like make a little kennel? Let me see if I can make one. I don't think I can because look, I can't delete that. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks. I really wanted to make him a little kennel. If you guys know of any kennel CCs, let me know. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like this for now. I think that's quite cute. Let's see if there's anything else from this like adorable little country collection. What's it called? Forest. Oh, look at this bed. Oh, that bed's so freaking cute. I want that one instead. Look, it's so countryfied. Oh, I love that. And I actually think I'm gonna, with this new money, make this bit of the house a little bit bigger. Okay, I've put some stuff in, but I honestly feel like I'm cheating doing this. So I'm just gonna put us back to $50. I know it seems extreme, but like, I don't know why. It's just too much money, okay? I like doing the rags to riches slowly and I've literally spent ages spending now and it just feels like too much. But here is the cute little living room, a uh, kitchen sort of dining area. I think it looks so freaking cozy and cute. It's still, oh, look at this little detailing. It's still got a long way to go. Like this bit's so sad and bare. But like we should be saving for this stuff over time. I don't like this big injection of money. So I've changed that. Oh, I always do this. I just push this way a little bit. Just because I was struggling to fit things in, even though honestly, I do quite like that super squishy feel. So let me know if you think I should make this a little bit smaller again. And oh my gosh, the dog is actually like a little bit of a wreck. It's playing in trash now. Like he is a little bit annoying. So there's two of us here. Do you mind going ahead and taking him for a walk, please? Maybe go for a jog with him. Because honestly, the dog's kind of low key quite naughty. <laughs> oh, you, we've just learned that he's jumpy. So he's probably jumping on you right now as well. And while you guys go for a little juggalog, I'm gonna open up the stall and try and get us money the right way so that we can buy some animals, okay? <laughs> oh, wow. And straight away, what did he buy? A fossil? Like, Sims love a good fossil. <gasps> Today is also the lottery. Ooh, can we afford a lottery ticket? I actually don't know if we can. Oh, <gasps> $100. We can do now that he's what bought that. She? So let's buy a lottery Must ticket. I mean, that would be a again. very quick way to do rags to riches, wouldn't Run. it? Just... Oh, I won the lottery, but hey, wow, you never know. Oh my gosh, people love a good fossil. So what? How's your jug going, gang? Oh, wow, so far. Oh, Doggo's loving this. He's quite like a big dog, so I feel like, like running out his energy is a really good thing to do. Look at them go. Wow, these are some very, uh, very shiny pants you've got going on there, Yona. In fact, Oh, wow, okay. I wanted to look at your face, but apparently not. You're just quite, like, shiny overall. Like, look at this glow. Look at this beautiful, like, misty sort of I've been jogging glow you've got about you. Gorgeous. Oh, everyone's working out today. Now, honestly, if nobody buys these awesome little Easter eggs, then we're just gonna eat them ourselves. Oh, and having him here to do the garden is so good. I'm, like, evolving and grafting all over the place. Definitely gonna make more gardening money. And we've got a little, little fried fish from them. Oh, the doggo doesn't like the fire. Oh, he's really scared of it. Uh, let's calm him down. Uh, like, I mean, the fire's adorable, so you're gonna have to get used to the fire because the fire's gonna be on. Look how freaking cute our house is. I love her aesthetic. Like, everything about this is just super adorable. Yeah. Dogs that adore <laughs> I'm actually quite triggered right now. Always nice. found his first day living out on our little <laughs> ranchy farm <laughs> type thing. And then I'm also gonna give him the little Easter egg. Looking after him. Being real cute. Where's my Easter egg at? We've got a blueberry and a freezer bunny. A blueberry sounds awesome, so you can have freezer bunny. <laughs> Sorry. And I've just looked at how long I've been recording for. It literally took me 40 minutes just to do this little extra bit. <laughs> on the house and this is gonna be so adorable we're gonna be able to sit and eat our cute little easter eggs together and just be real cute so come and sit and then eat your little easter eggs nom 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 oh my gosh look how cute this scene is look, are you putting it into your necks i don't even know but that, look how she looks at him she's so cute but i'm not rushing things between these two i'm kind of letting them go at their own sort of cute rate together i like that they've like they started in the dating scene took a step back into the friendship scene and now they're sort of dipping the toe just a little tiny little dip 
back into know, the dating true. scene. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! He just complimented her. You're maybe you're saying like your home is so beautiful, like the way you've decorated stuff and the fact that you've done all this from scratch is amazing. I like to think that when he moved in, he like carved. Oh, I said I was gonna get him a woodworking table. And he like carved all this out on his own just because I feel like that would be real cute. What I'd like to do is have like an area at the back here that's almost like um oh what's it called an orangery that kind of comes off the house a little bit where that's like their work area i think that would be really really cute but obviously like that kind of thing is going to be like it'll take me a little while to get to that point money wise like something like this where i'd need to make that like glass like so and if i change these walls to beams will that work yeah so look, 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 something like this wow my game is freaking out hard right now <gasps> yeah so it's like a little orange route around the back does that roof go? Yeah, 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 where they can like work. Oh, I can't afford a woodworking table yet. But you get my drift. Like, you get what I'm trying to get at. I think that would be like so cute. So we'll try and save up for that next. But I kind of like where things are going on this. It's cute. I know orangeries you usually have off the side of a kitchen, but I don't know. I guess we could move it to here. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. You guys have to let me know in the comments below too. Oh, giving Doggo some love. You can now claim this bed in here, Yona. That one's yours. No, not yours, Willow. This is yours. They keep being kind of cute and sweet and almost getting to flirty vibes. I mean, that looks very flirty, Willow, just like getting into his bed. So maybe don't do that. Oh, the dog is in the fire that it was scared of a minute ago. But yeah, I'm just going to let them do things at their own rate. Oh my gosh, and look at this. Letcher about barking. Letcher about drinking from toilet. There was also Letcher about jumping on counters. Yeah, this dog literally does every naughty thing it possibly can. Oh, and they never ended up buying lottery tickets. Oops. Also, in my bedroom right now, bedroom, recording room right now, Evie has just done the most disgusting fart ever, and it stinks. Like, literally, it stinks. Oh, and look at this. Yona's like, I am not an out- Not Yona. Uh, Bjorn is like, I am not an outdoor dog. I sleep inside on my sofa. You know what? I love an indoor dog, so I don't mind that one bit. It looks really cute with your little blankie, doesn't it? Oh, and there's a fierce amount of gardening to be done today. Look at all this. What are these? Sage is going wild. So that can be your job when you wake up, Yona. I am gonna go to market and get myself some animals. Oh, this is cute. I feel like a farm needs two people. So I'm super hyped about this. First year and some little fish for breakfast since he's doing the gardening. Oh, and selling those plants. Yeah, I really don't like the orange tree on this side of the house. <laughs> I want it to come off the kitchen, but there's no way to do that unless I move the bathroom. So, oh well, let's get ourselves a little woodworking table. And look, we can actually work side by side. How freaking cute is that gonna be? And if I wanna add animals. Okay, I've checked, because the mode I'm using for farms is the Ka Kawaii Stacy one. And then the Kalino has the animals. Oh, wow. <gasps> Oh my god, they're amazing at making animals. Okay, I feel like we need ourselves a little chef. So let's add that in. Oh my gosh, look at it. How freaking cute is that? Where I live, you often see sheps and goats together. So I feel like if there's a little goat, uh, we might be able to add that too. <gasps> but look at this chef. Oh, oh man, this is so cool. A baby boar. <gasps> Oh my gosh. A llama. I really need a piggo. Like, piggo is paramount, I would say. Oh, pigs? Pigs? Are these piggos? Oh, it's quite hard to make pigs, isn't it? That's the goat. Oh, I should really want piggo. I'll add the goat for now. A brown goat. Okay. There's also a little calf. Oh, that's so cute. I just realized as well that I need to give Willow the farmer trait. I can become a dairy farmer, apparently, or a wool farmer. And obviously... I don't believe in the dairies. So I think I'm gonna go for a wool farmer. So I just need animals that produce wool. Oh my gosh, it's kind of creepy. Like llamas sort of creep me out anyway. Wait, don't you get more, you go get, you farm alpacas, don't uh -huh. you? I've got not like an alpaca. Oh, it doesn't look right though, it just doesn't look right. <gasps> okay, fine. We'll farm sheep and goat fur. Goat fur, work with me on that one. Wool, goat wool. Where's my farmer traitor? I just want, oh, it's here, okay. I'm just gonna remove happy toddler because like me and put farmer on instead. <laughs> I'm sort of feeling like if we're doing wool, should, should probs get one more sheep or else uh, this could be kind of dumb. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna add this little pie as well. And then I think I need to add a trait to these so that they know what they know. Apparently not. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, yeah. Okay, so produce wool. And uh, you also produce wool. You're being super weird when you're trying to be a dog. Uh, yeah, you're a woolly goat. Just go with it. 
And then you're a woolly sheep. So I actually have two sheps and one goat. And they should all produce wool. I don't know how to feed them. I, like, do they eat the grass? I don't know. <laughs> I'm intrigued to find out. And you're all just kind of hanging out here because I've only just brought you back from the market. Oh, wow. What's going on with your nose there, friendo? But you actually all need to go into your pens, please. You're going to share the homes with uh, the piggos. And I'm also just going to, like, move this over here a little bit because I'm sort of... What's just got moved? I hate when that happens. Chicks don't need as much room as, like, a whole, like, full-on farm animal collection, do they? They ain't producing no wool. They'd be fine. Why does stuff do this? Like, why can't I spend that? Like, what is it even doing on that wall. It's meant to be further along, but it's not letting me move it, and I can't even begin to describe to you how triggered I am. Just let me put it where I want. Stop jumping around. You know what? I'm just gonna delete this for a second. There we go. Okay, that's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. Okay, so chicks, I feel sad. The chick area looks real sad, uh, but I will improve it over time. Now the piggos and sheeps can live here together. How do I feed them? I need to check the mod page. These things here which I can't afford right now. How much are they? 240. I did just buy loads of chicken feed. <laughs> and I actually think, you know what? I should have like a piggo area and a woolly uh, animal area. But I do quite like the idea that they all like live together in cute harmony. They're also all, all safe from life because uh, this is a uh, happy farm where nothing ever happens to hurt them. So let's get some lovely lush grass that they can eat away at. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. And then I think I'm gonna have to teleport them in using this. So I need to name them. Oh my gosh. Okay, we definitely need to name these little cutie things. I'm really sad that I didn't get to add a pig called Wilbur. That is literally breaking my heart right now. But you guys are gonna have to leave me some comments uh, to let me know what I should name them. We ain't gonna be able to feed them though until we start earning some money so let's get to that please oh they've all just walked straight out <laughs> how have they all just walked straight out like what how and then I, i'm gonna have to look for all pets you all have to stay in there okay this is your little home what do you give sheep to play with does sheep even play i don't know you guys can all play with each other though you're all like happy little farm animals this is a happy farm i know you don't have a great deal of space but it's a happy farm okay look you've got some little fishes and everything look you're digging around in the dirt eat some grass okay It'd be real cute we're gonna work so that we can buy you stuffs look at this beautiful little functioning farm cupcakes are being built sculptures are being sculpted fish are jumping out of a pond We've got sheps, we've got goats, we've got piggos, we've got chickalix. It's beautiful, really. It's all just really beautiful. Something really weird about watching sheep bark and chase their tails. And goats, it's it's just a little bit odd. Okay. It's just Ooh. Oh my gosh, she's sending a compliment. Wow, yeah, cupcakes. I just said tasty looking. Yeah. Also need to feed the chicken lickens. And look, I've got these tables at the back for them to place things on ready to be sold. Oh, we've reached level eight of the baking skill. Good work, Willow Bear. Why is decorating like such an awkward thing to do? Like, why can they never seem to be able to do it? Like, it literally just drives me crazy, but they just can't decorate, which is annoying because I know it adds a lot of money to like your Sims' potential earnings, but like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, wow, check out these little things he's crafted. A little dragon and a little bunny, it's so good. And we have enough money to feed our animals now. Probably should have checked that, but you know, before we got them, but hey ho. I'm gonna get them like some little toys as well just because i kind of feel sad for them just like being in there doing what i don't know can i harvest from any of them yet farmer sell wool to market harvest wool you need more farming experience oh how do i get farming experience then maybe i need to just like meet all of my pets not pets farm animals and just like make them feel all loved and whatnot look at this look at us living in such perfect harmony you want to bear that getting dinner for this evening and willow looking after the farm animals just all round beautiful. Wow, triggered. Why do I keep doing this to my roofs? There we go. Oh, wow. Good catch, good catch. I'm giving some love to the animals. Fill up this little bowl for them. Have I fed my chickens? Yeah, let's go collect some eggs. Oh, I can do harvest wool. Oh my gosh, let's get on this. Harvest wool. We've got a carton of eggs. We've been such little farmer roonies. I actually love it. And look at this. Getting my little, little harvesting on the go. Let's get our little fishies for supper. Yona also made a little bear. Uh, a large bear sculpture, which apparently the quality is excellent. And since Willow, whose skirt does not lend well to kneeling, uh, gave him a adorable little Easter egg last night, he's going to give her the little bear tonight. 
because it's cute and wholesome. And I'm cute and wholesome, okay? I've just realized I need to make a cover in case it rains, don't I? I don't think we've got a forecast of rain for a while. But yeah, by Sunday, we kind of need a place for the animals to be undercover. How can water spoil? Okay, so let's give her her little bear sculpture. Oh, I think she's a wee. I have no idea how this is gonna look. Look, look, can you see that I made Willow a little bit shorter than him as well? It's not super low, it's just like a little amount. Hopefully you guys can see that. But she's now got her cute little bear sculpture. He always looks so stern. Oh, wow, I say that and then he looks dizzy. But yeah, even when he's been sweet, he still has like a stern look about him. But he does look at Willow like so cutely. Oh, and Doggo needs a walk. Let's just uh, take Doggo outside and go for like a really quick walk so you can go to the toilets. There you go, don't wheel my leg. That bit kind of a little bit gross, but okay. There we go, just to the end of the road and back. And then to bed, because we need to get a cover for my little farm animals. Because I don't let them just cook food, every morning I have to like organize a meal for them because I don't want them to cheat and just like buy stuff from the fridge. But this morning's breakfast is a pear. Enjoy gangalang, it's really healthy. This is why Willow is actually a stick right now. I sort of feel like we need to get to the point where we're selling stuff. Wait for Hunko to wake up and then he can make some more woodworking sculptures and I can see if they sell well. I hope they will. Oh wow. Wow, he's feeling very comfortable this morning doing his little uh, woodworking with his hair down, which I love. Love a man with long hair. And his, and his top, he's just got his pants on basically. Uh, we can see that he is super, super tattooed. I, I wanted to kind of do tribalish tattoos that were meant to be like Native American, but I don't, I didn't, one, I couldn't find any and two, I'm not quite like knowledgeable enough. But the effort was made, I hope you can at least see. Um, we got bills that we definitely can't afford. Great, things are going real well. At least Willow's decided to put some clothes on. At least one of us is getting clothed. So Willow's gonna have a go at selling his little woodworking. While he does some gardening, I've also got like some spring flowers because I want to be able to like make some arrangements and stuff. So I've got some bluebells. My garden's kind of stressing me out because it's a little bit of a mess, which I'm not a huge fan of. But never mind. It's just not very organized. It's a little bit all over the place, isn't it? And oh my gosh, look what I've just noticed in the sheep pen and goat pen and pig o pen. There's fluff on the floor everywhere. Oh, we've sold one. Oh, people like them. This is good. I wanna, I'd love to change it so that we were only selling cute stuff. Oh my gosh, people really like them. Oh, this is actually so amazing. They wouldn't buy my cupcakes, but at least they'll buy Yona's woodworking stuff. And yeah, I'm not surprised that nobody wants to buy freakish bugs. Like who? Who would want to put locusts and termites into their home? Nobody. Keep making awesome woodwork and stuff, okay? Oh, look, he's made two little dining chairs. That's so cute. I can put them around here. They're not the prettiest things on earth, but hey. They're handmade and that's what matters. I've got us both a little fishy. We can sit here and have nice dindins together. Willow apparently not impressed with the chair if she's sitting on the floor. But still, we can have nice dinners and also Willow bake some biscotti so we can have a little dessert. And it's a Friday. I know we finished like it's midnight because we finished so late, but we should still just kind of like, what am I doing with this stupid biscotti? Have a nice little bit of time together, you know? <gasps> no, Bjorn! Stop that. Oh my gosh, stop that. He's gonna eat all my really nice biscotti. Are you joking me right now? Lecture him. Break off every cute thing you're about to do. I can't. I can't have the doggy and the biscotti. I'm raging. I'm oh. oh my gosh. It looks like I moved just in the nick of time as well. Apparently we can't extinguish the fire. Like there's no way to extinguish it, which is super annoying. Hey, at least it stopped the dog from eating the biscotti. And we just have this annoying fire that's just forever burning. The sheep are like, are we gonna, is our wool gonna burn? I don't know. Yona's trying to make her willow feel better because she's pretty tense after the fire. Which I'm not surprised she freaks out. Like I built this house with my own two hands. It can't all just come tumbling down oh burning down so he's trying his best to make her smile but with slice of life if they get like a bad mood it tends to stay there for quite a while okay i am seeing a little bit of a smile in her face now though so that's good so our little friday evening of chit chats did not go as planned Thanks, Fire, for ruining everything. The only socialization uh, that Yona is getting tonight is from Bjorn. And I feel like we kind of need to clean this up tomorrow because it's looking pretty bad. Even the pigs are like, yeah, this is filth. Oh, well, look, for everyone that's on the floor, they have to go, like, back and forth. It's actually kind of infuriating. I feel like I should probably buy a bin and put it there. I will do that in the long run, don't worry. I, I actually can't keep up with how many there are. Oh well, because it's a weekend and weekends are for treats, 
Blue has made some croissants, looking very buttery and beautiful right there. Chase is calling her. Let's have a nice Saturday morning, chit well, Saturday afternoon now. Chit chat with uh, Chaseykins. Oh my gosh, they're making more hair pals than I can handle. What is with this? Okay, I'm giving them all a brush to try and help with the molten situation because it's kind of driving me crazy. You can go to the toilet in the pen, like that's fine. And we finally got the whole thing cleaned and it's 6 p.m. This is a hard life. This is a hard life. We also have $22. Like, why is this so hard? I'm gonna sell my eggs. Not not her actual egg, egg, eggs. Because I kind of want to invest in our bathroom a little bit. We've still got, you know, that same stupid shower that's like the camping shower. I want like this kind of a thing. Oh my gosh, that's so far away from what we can afford. Ugh. Oh, what? Why have I got beds in here? I don't even know. Oh! They're the beds I got camping, aren't they? <gasps> okay, great, I can get a really nice shower. That's all I wanted, gang, okay? That is literally all that I wanted. So this is good. Now we've got a little bathroom, we can actually go ahead and bath the dog so it's not all gross. And then it's our usual nightly routine of roasting our little fishy. It's a little bit earlier tonight, but honestly, it's not a great deal earlier. This life is hard, okay? It's just hard. It's really, really <laughs> long days, and it's having to cook cook your own and f catch your own food yeah, and it's just yeah, tough exactly. it is just tough and the couple of hours they get at the end of the day like to chit chat together i like they need that okay they basically just need that so much it's usually her him like complimenting her appearance she has gone in hard with the flirtations this evening you've just complimented his appearance three times in a row like that's quite a lot of complimenting of appearance there willow oh wow now she's blowing him a kiss and everything <gasps> Okay, she's doing him a little song now on her piano, like on a violin. That is a wide stance there, Willow. And it's actually a little serenade as well. So, oh, he's doing himself a little marshmallow while he eats it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love when they serenade. He's like, he can't look at her. He's feeling bashful. He's like looking down like, oh, this is a lot. This is a lot. But if we sneak under, we can see he's definitely got a happy little smile on his face. Oh. Oh, and he just dropped his marshmallow in the fire. Oh my gosh, look how cute he looks with the little blush across his cheeks. Has Willow got it too? Oh my gosh. Okay, Willow is tired. Very tired. As cute as this is, I sort of feel like guys are gonna have to wrap it up because you have to do all of the same stuff all over again tomorrow. But how much you want to compliment each other and be cute. You guys have still not even done a first kiss yet. It's good though. I respect the keeping it slow narrative. It's nice and sweet and I'm there for it. Oh, and I can actually make my first bluebell arrangement. Oh my gosh, excited. Man, I've been waiting for this day for so long. So freaking long. I just wanted to arrange some flowers, okay? I wasn't asking for much. And wow, you've woken up feeling lust, a woohoo desire. And you've woken up feeling flirty as well from your serenade last night. Today could be the day that romance moves forward. <gasps> Look at this beautiful bluebell arrangement, gang. Uh, <gasps> Looking at- Oh, what? no, apparently it's garbage. Okay, sorry, my bad. We can add a vase to it. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, put that in your inventory and you've just made your first ever vase. Have you got any more bluebells? Yeah, you've still got more bluebells. Let's make some more so we can sell them. Oh my gosh, check out this iconic duo. Getting the land worked, getting stuff done. Amazing. Selling the lemons that life gave us. We can sell that. We can put that on our little sales table. Oh, exciting. And the first one you made. Oh, what he's going to think of it. I don't feel like he's the kind of guy that's like so like you fragile that he's like, oh, I don't want flowers. <laughs> I think he'll see that they've grown these flowers in their gardens together. You're and so the first ever know. arrangement that she made, uh, uh, <laughs> he, she wants to give to him as like a gift. <gasps> yeah, he liked that. I knew he would like it. <gasps> Wait, he's giving her a rose in return that he's got from Funny. the garden oh my gosh be more cute and wholesome he gave her a gift with the expression of love i will always be here for you each and every day my love will continue to grow for you forever and we're doing well because we finished even earlier tonight <laughs> they're getting into a routine they're like me and ali they just find it hard not to just work all the time and never have any time for themselves <gasps> okay i was like i wonder if they're gonna start flirting again but he's in a very flirty mood so he probably is gonna be oh and she's the blowing them kisses i like just leaving them like just 
Oh wait, don't ask him for money. Well, oh, yeah, I like just leaving them to it and like seeing what they're gonna get up to when they're on their own. <laughs> Especially when they're in like a flirty mood, because I find that they uh they kind of flirt a lot. The <laughs> thing is, I don't know if they would ever do a first kiss Have without me doing it for them. Like I, I feel like that's something that I need to instigate. <laughs> Look how cozy he is, being all cute and chit chatting next to the fire. Well, oh, you don't need your sunglasses on inside. That's actually just stressing me out. So we're gonna change those. Do you like my little uh, flowers around the window, by the way? Oh, going in for the little cheeky tickle. Look how tiny she is now. I feel like he could just put his whole arm around her waist. I'm sort of looking forward to when things are less crazy on the farm and we can just like eat loads of cupcakes and relax. Because <laughs> I do miss like thicker willow. Oh wow, going, going in hard. But I don't think they can first kiss you guys. I've never seen... Oh, he's confessing his attraction. That's quite like a heavy... His class is quite like a risky, heavy, flirty thing to do in this game. But I just feel like they're going to do this forever and never go anywhere else because I don't think Sims are allowed to first kiss. However, I feel like they're at the point where I don't really feel bad doing it for them because I feel like it's the natural next step. There's only, only so many kisses you can blow before it sort of makes sense to go for a first kiss. And also, these guys have never gone too fast with anything. Everything's always been done quite calm and like at a nice pace. So I'm really excited to let them have their first kiss together. Look at them just giggling, giggling like little kids. So cute, so cute. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Literally, let me let me get this from all angles because it's beautiful what I'm witnessing right now. Look at his little red cheeks. So cute! I think these two have kind of turned into like my favorite couple. I'm just loving them so, so much. <gasps> yes, she's got the red cheeks. I love the red cheeks. I love them so, so much. These little cutie bears have had their first ever kiss. They're living together, but I still would like them to take things reasonably slow. Okay, we're doing a dance to new music, okay. I still would like them to take things reasonably slow. Separate bedrooms for now. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of our weird barking. Oh, and also apparently fighting animals outside. Hopefully that's a play fight and not anything worse. I mean, you just beat up a, a goat. I would have thought a goat would be able to beat up a sheep, but apparently I am wrong. Let me know what you think of them and let me know if you're still enjoying the series in the comments below. Let me know some ideas for names for these. Names that help me, like, remember what they're all supposed to be. So sheepy names and goaty names, if you guys don't mind. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!